In this video, we will take a look at this add-on called Home Builder, an open source asset library for Blender that focus on the process of creating interiors. You can head to the main site to read all about Home Builder and download it through a direct free link. This is version 3 of the add-on, so you can expect some updates on the way, and down here you can read some of the features that are available and the ones that still not released yet. The install process is also well explained here on the site, but we will go through it. So once you run Blender, go to the properties to get the add-on, Hit the installation button and locate your download file. Check the add-on to enable it, and you should find its menu in the sidebar by hitting the N key on your keyboard. You have also an update section and with it you can set a period on which the add-on will update, monthly or weekly. It's also recommended to check for update manually at the first time you run this tool by hitting this big button and that might take a couple of seconds, so wait for it, it will tell you to restart Blender after it's finished. After we are done with the update, let us open the sidebar to see what options we have, first at the top, you have the about menu, here you can check for updates directly, install libraries which I think still on the way and also take a look on any upcoming training video. The option below that are the main ones, the room making section with some products and interior elements like doors and windows, with those you can build your own interior with simple steps. To start building walls, select the room option on walls and hit the draw button, a wireframe of the first wall will appear and you can set the length with the mouse or by inserting any number from your keyboard. So let us make a room, and you can see the numbers I'm putting on the right menu setting. You can also go to the unit setup and change it from metric to imperial if you're familiar with that. Once you're done drawing the walls, you can close them together by hitting the C key. To adjust the room walls you can hit the current room button while selecting one of the walls, then press the collect wall button, this will show all the walls in a list and with that you can view and isolate any of them to adjust it individually. You can add an area light on the entire room space, but we don't need that, what I need is a floor under those walls, and we can add it with this button. The library is also shaded so you will find the floor along with the other elements having materials on them. The product section have a number of basic thing that you need in any interior from cabinets to doors and bathroom accessories. You can for example select a door from this menu, and let me go with the one called single door, and snap it to any of the walls you have, then with the right mouse button, we can either delete it, or hit the properties button to edit the door. The section on the top is for the width and height values along with the location of the door, under that you can control the door opening and switch its position from both inner and outer side, and even flip the swing from left to right. You can do the same edit on the handles and the frames, it's a full option menu so you can go through it.
same thing can be applied to the windows, so just snap one of them to any wall, and adjust its position height and shape. The cabinet section have a good number of options, and you can find here even more options than before, you can literally adjust everything, from the drawer's shape to its opening and handles type, you can also change the areas of the drawers and delete or extend any of the cabinet elements. The materials section has a couple of basic materials in it, and you can select any of them then add it to the models, for example we can pick this white material then drop it on the drawer and just hit override to change it. If you hit update all, the option at the bottom, it will change all the elements of the same object or in the same model. The author did drop a full tutorial on this so you can check it out, and that's it. Like the video of your still here and see you guys next time, stay sharp, goodbye.